There are many examples of um, famous poisoning events throughout human history, and perhaps the most famous is that of Cleopatra. Now, many people know the story of Cleopatra using a venomous snake to poison herself um, during her suicide. However, few know the story of all of the trials that went on before she decided on the snake. Cleopatra actually tested out several different plant poisons on her slaves and observed the way in which they died before deciding on the asp. So some examples of plants that she used included henbane, belladonna, and also some strychnine heavy species. When she observed um, the deaths by belladonna and henbane, it was notably painful. It was not a peaceful death. And in the poisonings with strychnine, the body was left in a very contorted, paralytic state um, that was not at all attractive. Whereas with the asp, there was a very relaxed, calm sort of uh, look to the body um, following death, and that's what she eventually went with. Poisons have also been famous um, with ancient philosophers. So poison hemlock is famous because it was used as the poison to kill Socrates. So a beverage was created out of this plant and he was forced to drink it. In Greek mythology, there's the story of Cyclops. And what's interesting about Cyclops, and again, these are creatures with one large eye. They're often demonized in uh, many of these stories as horrible, angry creatures. What's interesting is that this myth has an origin in fact. So there is a medicinal plant known as helibor, which is used for various therapies, including stomach upset, which unfortunately can sometimes be taken during early pregnancy with problems with morning sickness. And this was common in ancient times. Now there's another plant that looks very similar to helibor. It's called false helibor. And this particular species is rich in a compound called cyclopamine. Now, if a woman that's in her early stages of pregnancy or even a sheep or some other um, livestock animal consumes this false helibor early in pregnancy, it can lead to a very serious birth defect, which results in the formation of only one large eye and often um, the offspring is missing a nose um, and other important parts of the face. Perhaps um, there were cases of, of offspring of humans that were born with this birth defect and survived um, despite the defect into adulthood that would have been um, misunderstood by local people and, and feared because of their um, physical defect.